Joanne. Nicole. Debbie. Sarah. Jonah. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tracy, and today I'm going to talk to you about the religion Islam. Um, I have always been fascinated with Islam. I was wondering about, you know, how their culture is as far as do they believe in God, you know, as far as their family life, their etiquette, and all this other stuff. So I went on a couple of websites titled whyislam.org, also religion resources online.org, and I found out some pretty interesting things about the religion Islam. One is I found out is that they do believe in God. You know, their thing is they must believe in his revelations, his angels, his message, and his day of judgment. I also found out that Islam was formed in 622 CE. It was originated in Eric Pizzler, and it was developed in the Middle East in the 17th century. Islam means surrender of submission. And I'm like, I'm not sure about that submission type of thing because with me being me, no. Uh -uh. It was also founded by a prophet named Muhammad. Now, during my research, I wasn't able to find that much out about Muhammad. The only thing that I was really able to find out was that Muhammad means um, the prophet as an expression of surrender to the will of Allah. And I was wondering, okay, if they believe in Allah, how they can be believe in God. They believe that Allah is one of God's messengers. I found that quite interesting, okay? Also, as to where our scriptures, we can come from the Bible, their scriptures come from Quelu. Did I say it right? Quick Quelu. I'm not. I was. I was having a hard time with that. But there, two. We have two different books, but we believe in God. That was another interesting thing that I found out. I also found out that Islam is the second largest religion, second to Christianity. So, I also found out that. Muhammad was born in Mecca in 570 CE. His father died before he was born, and his mother died when he was six years old. He was an orphan, and he went to live with his, I think it was his uncle, that basically introduced him, you know, to, you know, different types of religions. And if I'm not mistaken, you know, he felt as though that those religions didn't quite fit him. So he, in a sense, formed a religion that he felt that would fit him. Also, another thing that fascinated me about um, is um, what well, Muslim is why they don't eat pork. You know, I'm like, what's the deal with pork? One of the reasons is that it comes from a pig. They feel that pig is the most unclean animal and they want to keep their body clean. So they do not eat pork. And I'm like, well, okay, just wash it. But you know, it's like the whole concept that pig, that the pork comes from the pig. I was like, okay, all right. You know, and another interesting fact about Muslim is that the father is the head of the household. The father makes all the decisions in the house. He is allowed to have up to four wives. And I'm like, four wives? Four wives. But the catch with that is that he cannot show no favoritism. He has to treat all his wives equal. So I was like, well, okay, if one wife feel as though that she's not being treated equal, can she leave? No, she has to stay. I was like, that's kind of messed up. Another thing that I learned is that they are the sole provider of their family. You know, the husband goes out to work, he makes all the money, and the wife basically stays home and takes care of the children. 
you know, and once again, I was like, you know, in today's society, you know, you have the wife and the husband working, but with them, they feel as though that they, the husband is the sole provider of the family. Um, in doing this research, I learned out, you know, some pretty neat things about the religion Islam. And I feel as though that, you know, with me being me, I couldn't really do that because I'm, first of all, I'm not submissive, you know, and, you know, granted, I do not eat a lot of pork, but, you know, every once in a while, I like pork chops. Thank you. <laughs> Ashley. Gwen. Nicole. Debbie. Sarah. And Jonah.